So welcome to the Athabasca Pottery Club. Today we're going to go over how to set up, use, and clean our clay extruder. So this is our extruder, and our piece here comes off. There are rubber gaskets here. Pump that right in. Then you choose your extruder. You can do things like hollows, foils, larger tubes, and all sorts of fun colors. You even have some larger tubes as well if you want them. I think we're going to use those today for doing some fairy houses in the end. So you just plunk them in the middle. Make sure your rubbers line up with the outer edges of the hole if it's a larger piece. This is our lever. Make sure we clean that off. Okay. But first, you need to get some clay in here. So you're going to take your pug, your extruder, and your clay is a little bit wider. So just to save some time, you're going to plunk it down just to widen it a bit. You just drop it in. You can usually cut another half a pug and throw it in here just so you don't have as far to go to have to lift it out again. You can see we're going quite a ways before we actually reach the end. So I'm going to grab one of our strings here. Usually you have two people here. One is usually sitting down or standing to catch it and pull it out and then cut it. If you go just like this, it will come out. But as you notice, just how do the force comes, it turns. I'm going to cut this. I'm sure somebody will use it. You put it around the top. It cuts very easy, as you see. But generally, if you're sitting down here, you take your string, you put it along your base, and then you pull up and straight across, and it cuts things. As you see, I got a little more, so it's a little flatter now. But yeah. So usually it's a two-person job. I'll do a few more here just to show you. So you can pull them straight out. If you pull it along this, this will keep your cut fairly straight and you get that perfect edge. So you can cut as many as you like. There are a few other demo videos where you can just wrap some clay on a can or another cylinder object. Just make one or two right off the bat so you don't have to go through the setup and the cleaning of this. So I will be back here in a few seconds with somebody else to show you how it's usually done with two people. Okay, so I'm going to have somebody help me here in a second, but we're going to show you how to lift this out. There's not much room for it out. So you lift, sorry, lift up, you lift this up, and you lift down, lift up. And sometimes your clay comes with it, and that's not what you want. Okay, so it's a good thing I showed it here this time, this is going to be fun. This means that your piece in here came out. So your choice is either to push it all the way in, or in this case it pulled it right out, and there's this. I'm going to grab our string, I'm just going to cut it free again. Of course it doesn't cut that nicely because those big rebar pieces are in there. So as you can see, the clay is still there. So we're just gonna try and wiggle it in. Sometimes the gasket comes out too, so you have to watch that and get stuck halfway. Just so make sure your gasket's there. Make sure that's there. Sometimes it's a little fun to get on the next time. Okay, we're gonna drop this right back down. Plug in. This one I widened already. There we go. I'm also going to pull the clay off of this because it's better to have it on the inside. You have to watch this because sometimes it will slip. So it lets go, make sure you're braced so it doesn't hurt you here. 
and if you want to continue, thank you. So depending how long you want them, if you want like a fairy house, you can do whatever length you want them with pencil holders. It's often best to uh, have a pen so you know how deep you have to go. Stop. So just communicate with the person pumping. I have plastic going to say dry out in the meantime. I'll just peel it back. Okay. You're going to go slow and steady just so the person can guide it. Every once in a while you get one of those big air blowbacks. Don't be too, too surprised. Wait. You can see there's one of your blowbacks. Just a big air pocket. Gives it some texture, some character. You can clean it out later. So I'm going to continue doing this, and I will come back when it's time to clean it, which is always the most fun part. Here we are doing our cleaning. They were really quick, and they beat me into taking it apart. You already saw that. So as you can tell, she's got the brush there. She's scrubbing it off. She's going to completely clean that. Our pieces here are also going to get washed. Use like a knife or something to scrape all the clay off, so you can use that or put it in the recycling bin afterwards. Get the rubber out as well and be washing that. So it's all going to be cleaned. We have scrub brushes, paint brushes, the whole nine yards. This piece here, as you notice, is attached to the wall. Let me see if I can get the stand to stand up right. There we go. So the wing that's on the back actually come apart. So if you push this back, these are loose. If you don't push back, they don't want to move. But if you push back, they're loose. Make sure you don't lose those. They really need those. There, you can show them how it's supposed to be clean. This is how clean it comes off. See, so there it is. You can, in theory, clean it out if it's on the wall, just being very, very careful. Let me you get all the clay out. Often use a knife or a scraper to get the inside stuff out, as you can see that. But yeah, there's clay still in there. I'll put it back over here. Oh, can't take it from me. Okay, it got kidnapped. Okay, one second. Okay, and here we go. As you can see, it's all nice and clean now. There's no clay left on it whatsoever. Then I'm just going to go ahead and put that away. And we're going to leave it all nice and clean for the next person to use. And she's over here cleaning this. Sponges, rags, whatever works. Just make sure it's all clean. And put it back on the wall. You do not tighten the wing nuts all the way, because that way they can seize and get too hard to pull off. Just enough to hold it on the wall while you use it. And that's all there is to using the extruder and cleaning it.